putting it off long enough. Oh, this whole digging thing is just, is just so, it's just so boring. Holy moly. I'm not going to, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. We're going to go find a slime chunk. Hello, my roomies, and welcome back to the technical guy to Minecraft. Today's plan is that we're going to be focusing on getting some slime. Now, in order to do this, there are two main ways to do this. You can either go to a swamp and make a swamp-based slime farm, which is actually gaining popularity right now, or you do it the old-fashioned method where you go find a slime chunk. Now, because we're on a mushroom island, slimes will not spawn here, but they will spawn outside of the mushroom box. Now, the question is, how do we naturally find a slime chunk? Well, that's actually quite easy. And today, we're going to be doing just that. So, let's get started. So right off the bat, we're going to go grab some extra pickaxes, some shovels, and as well as the outermost edges of this space. So we're going to be taking the farthermost of the northwest, east, and south positions, and uh, just mark down those coordinates. So this seems to be the furthest eastward, so that represents the eastmost side. Now let's go grab the south, which is, I think, over there. Now let's go to the west side and see where the edges of that one is. Well, actually, this one seems to be the furthest point, so we'll mark that down. And lastly, but not leastly, we're going to go check out the north side of our base and see where the furthest point of this is. That represents the four corners that we need to dig to in order to reach a slime chunk. Now, in order to get there, we are actually going to need to dig down to at least Y level 37. Now the reason why we need to dig down to 37 is because slimes only spawn in Y level 40 and below. Now that extends to all the way down to bedrock level which is negative 60 but if we just look at Y level 37 and just dig a 3x3 length and width tunnel around it marking off where each of the chunk is then we could easily identify which one will be a chunk border. It'll take some time and obviously this is gonna be a long digging process but in the end of the day we'll be able to accurately pinpoint where exactly a slime chunk is without using any outside help. So let's get started. Let's go down to Y level 37. Okay, now we're standing on 37. So once we just dig out to 644, then we could, uh, oh, I forgot to bring a shovel. And what we're going to do right now is actually dig out to 644 and uh, begin creating a 3x3 area. What we're going to do is actually start lighting this up. Because we'll be digging outside of our mushroom biome, that means mobs can spawn. And so we need to make sure that the area is lit so that the only thing that can spawn in are the slimes. Because slimes actually spawn in regardless of light level. In slime chunks anyway. And we're just going to continue on until we get to Z level 644. Okay, now that we're at 644, now we're going to actually look at the chunk borders. Now in order to do this, you do F3G to enable chunk borders. And what we're going to do is go to the middle of the next following chunk and then start building a 3 by 3 area. So let's get right to it. Okay, so now that we've dug to 644, what I've gone ahead is find out where the border of the next chunk is and basically dig down to the other side, which you can see right behind me. And then we're going to build a 3 by 3 area where the slimes can actually spawn in. Now, keep in mind that we also need to make sure to light up the area because now if you look at your F3 screen, we are in a warm ocean, meaning that hostile mobs are able to spawn here. So we're going to be just very careful as we go through this entire uh, corner by corner area. And then with this setup, we'll be able to find out which exactly are slime chunks. And one last note, at every border, what you want to do is create a sort of door area. That way, if slimes actually spawn in, that way, if slimes actually spawn into this specific chunk, we'll know that it's this specific chunk specifically. <laughs> because they'll be only able to move around within the area that we give it, this 3x3 three three area, and we'll be able to deduce which one is actually a slime chunk. So let's get right into it. Right. So we hit a bit of a hiccup, like right off the bat. The ocean is actually right in front of us. So once you crack this open, we're in the middle of the ocean and water comes in. So in order to address this, we're actually going to go like 10 Y lower just to ensure that we can completely dodge the ocean that's right above us and uh, really just get to work on this thing. So uh, we're going to dig down 10 and do this whole thing over again. So let's go do it.
quick interruption. I know that only 10% of you actually subscribe to this channel. Watching this long, I must be doing something right. So if you like this video, hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel. Any support helps and these videos take a bit long to make. Thank you so much and back to the video. Okay, now that we are done with all of that, we are gonna go, basically, run around this thing until we run into slime. And if we run into slime, then we know for sure that the chunk that we're in is, in fact, a slime chunk, which will be incredibly helpful for future projects. So let's uh, just keep running around until we find one. I should also just get my sword real quick, just in case if I do run into one, I could easily kill it. So I'm gonna go grab my sword and then we're gonna go fight, well, hopefully fight some slimes. All right, let's begin running around. I think the thing that takes the longest amount of time is just circling because there's really not much else there is to this other than just running around until a slime just pops up within this area because a slime needs a 3x3 area for which it could spawn so this is like basically the minimum requirements but it's just getting the slime to spawn in is the most difficult part about this. Now granted the lower you go the higher the chance that the slime will actually appear because of uh, mob spawning rules but I didn't want to dig through deep slate because digging through deep slate is a lot harder than digging through let's say dirt and stone so we're kind of just trying to min max when it comes to risk reward ratio and i find that getting somewhere between 20 to 40 y level is like a really good place in order to find some sort of slime chunk now it's entirely possible that around my mushroom island there is no slime chunks and in fact this has been a complete waste of time but we won't know until well we'll give it like an hour of running in circles before we rule that out but more or less this is like the most optimized way to do it and i'm gonna go back up actually to get more pork chops so i'm actually out of pork chops so uh let's go grab some more and continue our run i'm just gonna grab three just in case because i don't want to have to keep coming back up here because running and jumping in such a small area does take a lot of saturation so we're just gonna bring a couple just in case still nothing on this cycle so we're just gonna keep running oh oh we found our first slime chunk let's go this two, it's a double slime chunk right next to each other. Let's go. Two slime chunks right next to each other. Oh my goodness. That's so, so lucky. Let's go. And so these two chunks right here. So we definitely know for sure. Let's go back top side and go find out where these chunks are. I was slightly concerned because this this tunnel actually breaks into the stronghold so i was wondering if it was gonna like cut into the chances of us getting a slime chunk but no no we just found one two actually two slime chunks can you believe it <laughs> I am so delighted. This will make slime production so much easier. Although technically you only really need one if you're playing a single player. So having two will be more than enough. <laughs> Well, my roomies, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to see more, and I will see you all next time. But until then, I have been your number one and most humble host, Kigurumi. Bye-bye.